Hello. So today I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, teaching teaching you how to make, use ComSol to solve some pretty simple uh, multi-physics problems that focus on momentum transfer and uh, uh, the motion of uh, uh, molecules, distribution changes for diffusion in a combined convec convection diffusion uh, problem, where in the end we'll get some sort of distributions for velocity and for concentration that look like this for concentration, this for velocity, and this for pressure. This is a an intro. It's a, you, we'll be solving the problems independently and then together. So whenever you start up Comsol Multiphysics version 4.3, we'll just go do that now. You're you're given a number of options. Let's save this file real quick to compare afterwards. The first thing you have to do is select the geometry or domain that you're going to solve the problem on. Today it makes the most sense we're going to solve for the velocity distribution and the distribution of a, of a die injected into that velocity distribution in a, uh, a place between two planes. So we'll lo look at this in a two-dimensional problem if you're looking at orthogonal view for a pipe you could do 2D axisymmetric or for a number of problems you can use 3D. So instead of just hitting the flag right away we're going to step forward after selecting 2D and choose the modules that we want to solve the equations with. So typically a great place to start and this is included in every version of Comsol Multiphysics is a general mathematical form. It's a very powerful um, a way to solve number of partial differential equations but for a number of engineering problems they have built-in modules for instance for momentum transfer and fluid flow they have a package called fluid flow then we have a number of options here and we can select single phase flow and laminar flow since we're not going to look at turbulence in this instance hit the little plus button down here gives you options to call these variables different things so this is u v and w for the velocity components the other thing we want to solve today is going to be a convection diffusion uh... heat transfer model Actually, instead of heat transfer let's do molecular transport so we'll do chemical species transport and within chemical species transport we have a number of options most of the things that you'll be looking at uh, typically can uh, start out as a as an approximation of a dilute species when you have a dilute species there's pretty much only interactions between the solute and the solvent instead of having solute solute interactions so we hit the plus sign on that one to add that to our mix and the concentration of our one species we're interested in is C. But you can change the number of species in this box here. So the, the real power, I think, in Comsol Multiphysics is the ability to mix these types of models together and solve them simultaneously or separate in the same package. So let's step forward another step. Let's choose a type of problem we want to solve. For simplicity, we'll just choose a stationary solver. Sometimes it's actually easier to solve the time-dependent solver. And there's just a, you have to specify a time interval if you choose this this one right here. But for the problem at hand, where we're going to look at transport of a molecular species in a flowing fluid between two plates, let's just choose the stationary solver. Hit this little checkered flag sign to finish this selection of the models and geometries and brings up this splash window. And so in the next video we'll go through the process of setting this up uh, to solve a specific uh, set of equations.